Hey friends, this is Elizabeth WMT coming at you guys with a video. This is going to be kind of chill, set down video. Let you guys know about my college experience a little bit more and talk a little bit about what it's like being in college as a mom. So I am actually a pretty young mom. A lot of moms in college are older and are coming back to college after having their families, where I am a mom who had my family during college. And it's kind of a rare commodity to come across people like myself who actually complete college. And I know that sounds really gloomy and pessimistic, but a lot of people who have children while they're in college do not finish. And so I want to say how proud I am of myself for finishing college and not putting my dreams aside just because I had kids. Now, that's not to bash on any other moms. Some moms decide that their dreams have changed once they have children, and that is perfectly all right. And it is perfectly acceptable for a woman to make that choice for herself. But for me, it's not the choice I wanna make. I am a little bit of a workaholic Actually, a lot of bit of a workaholic. I was raised by union workers. My dad has always been in a union, my grandparents, everyone. So work ethic is a really strong one for me. Uh, you always have to have a job in my family. Otherwise, what the heck are you doing with your life? Sorry, she's over here in her crib, standing up trying to add to the video. So maybe we'll change the frame to this. So yeah, you can see Miss Emerson Rose. So yes, I'm really excited that even though I had this little princess eight months ago, I finished school and I finished school strong. My last semester of school, I got straight A's for the first time in my college career. Maintaining my grades was not always the easiest for me. And a lot of the times, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was picking and choosing which assignments were gonna make me pass and which ones weren't, and just doing what I needed to to pass. Because as a mom, when you have a child with autism and you have a new baby, you don't have a lot of time, especially in my college, profession which is education so i am a teacher four through nine and i just got my license approved so i am really excited to say i'm officially a teacher and i already have one job offer and i'm hoping the interview i had today will result in a job offer as well because i think it's going to be my first choice if i do so, yeah, I, I just can't tell you enough how proud I am of everybody who has graduated despite their circumstances, especially with the added stress of the COVID-19 pandemic and quarantine. So I was in my student teaching and I was in my last semester of college when the COVID-19 pandemic started and we got quarantined. So I had to student teach online for a while as well as homeschool my son and provide child care for my kids who were spending days with grandparents while I did homework. I no longer had the assistance to do homework anymore. And my husband is an essential worker because he works at a medical facility. So I was literally at home by myself with two kids trying to make sure my son got his education, make sure my students, all 63 of them, got some sort of education and make sure that I finished my degree. 
So yes, I didn't have to do a whole lot for my student teaching at that point in time because the district actually took over on the planning and curriculum for my students. So all I had to do was maintain student contact and help with any questions that arise and make sure my students were actually working on their projects and such. But you never know how long that actually takes, like going through and reading every student's work and trying to reach out to every student and going into Google Meetups. And then my son, bless his heart, he hates doing homeschool version schooling. So trying to incentivize him to do his work, it's just, it was so hard. It's one of the hardest semesters I have ever had in my life. And to get straight A's, Oh, amazing. Ugh. So my plans for my channel and my life going forward is I hope to be accepting a teaching contract for the 2020, 2021 year soon, whether it be at this first offer or the place I interviewed today. And I plan on spending this summer filming for you guys and playing with my two beautiful children and trying to enrich their life and their sense of wonder in the world. We want to get outdoors more this year because the last four or five years mommy hasn't really been able to get outdoors all the time because I've always had some assignment to do that had me stuck to the computer. So I really just want to hit refresh on my life a little bit and get out and get moving and have my kids experience some of the things I experienced as a child. And I also want to work on professional development as well. Um, just because I want to be so prepared when I walk into a classroom in August or September whether the climate of our society is the same or not kids still need education and teachers so i i just need to learn um i feel the need to learn all that i can this summer and i also have a whole tote of books that i want to read this summer so I want to catch up on my reading for fun because I don't think I've read a book for fun in four years because I've had so many different responsibilities. I always envied my classmates as an English teacher and a science teacher who could just read books in their spare time and it's like, ah, oh, I wish I had spare time. But it was worth it. It's definitely going to be worth it over the years. So, in a financial standpoint, a lot of people are like, teachers don't make a lot of money. That is accurate. Teachers don't make a lot of money. But, I will have return on my college investment after two years of working in earning potential. So, I'll only need to work two years to pay off my student loans if that's all I'm paying off. However, my husband and I have made some smart and some not so smart money investments, which we'll get to in another video about what we did wrong as a young married couple and what I think we did right as a young married couple. Um, in another video, I'm planning on delving into financial um, literature and trying to learn about taking control of our finances in a more productive and efficient way to pay back down debt. So my husband and I have done pretty good for the majority of our marriage living within our means, but I'll let you know more about that in the next video, probably. And I uh, just wanted to let you know that I am back in full force and I don't plan to ever go away again. 
but I hope you all understood why I had to leave. My focus was on Emerson Rose and Nikolai and graduating college because that's a large money investment. If anybody ever had to sign for college loans, they know they practically have to sign their soul to the devil to get an education in the USA. So I'm very happy. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, a lot of the health problems that I had in pregnancy did go away. So that's also good. And I hope to be talking to you guys again soon. Bye.